Yo, 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 YouTube, what's good? Hey, how to stay focused on this carnivore journey? I know some of you all are probably wondering this, and this may have been keeping you all from doing it. But let me tell you this, it's not as bad as what it seems. If you keep in mind of the goals that you have set for yourself. I've tried countless diets. My weight loss journey has been up and down. And this, I found that this carnivore uh, style of eating has been a success for me. And quite frankly, I'm addicted to the results. I like the results. I like the feeling. And I believe that you will too. All you have to do is just give it a shot. And I know some of you all may be on the fence. And, and, I, and I understand, man. I, I do. I do. Some people may be talking bad about it. Some people may say, man, that's not healthy eating bacon and eating burgers. Well, let me tell you this. It's not healthy being obese, right? That's not healthy. It's not healthy having diabetes. That's not healthy. And do I understand the science of everything? No, I do not. And I would not uh, come to you as if I'm a doctor or you're a doctor or anything. Please, if you feel as if you need that, go seek out a doctor and ask them, he or she, the pros and cons. If you are watching this video, then you have researched and seen other personnel who have been doing this carnivore uh, style of uh, this lifestyle such as myself so I know that you see what they've been doing I know you see the the downfalls and the upsides but at the end of the day you have to think are they getting results what are they saying about the journey what are the cons does the pros outweigh the cons now I'm not going to pressure anyone to get into this style of eating. I don't care how obese they, they are or what it is. This is you know my journey. This is what I decided to do. And as of right now, it's been working out for me. And I know, like I said, some people may be on the fence and I would say, hey, research and see. This diet may not be for you, but if you're watching this video, it probably, it could be for you it really could be and I think that doing some research and then after you have compiled your research and you decide if it's for you then hey make plans to to start and that's really what it is starting and once you start hey don't allow I don't care if it's your mother your father uh, you traveling your kids, it does not matter. Do not allow anyone to stop your success. Let everyone know who's in your circle what you're doing. That is a good tip. People, let people know so they would so they would not be offering you. Hey, do you want this donut? Do you want a piece of pizza? Do you want this last slice of pie? Mm -mm. No. The things that are in your house. Hey, maybe take some of those things out. You know, maybe. Throw some that cereal and all that stuff out. And I understand if you have kids, so you might not be able to. But sometimes, hey, maybe a, a, a going on a drive, maybe watching a motivational video, uh, maybe just clearing your head, getting away to recenter yourself, and then maybe go back and uh, approach, uh, approach, you know, the situation. For example, like, hey, if you're, if people are eating certain things in the house. And you're feeling that yourself, you're feeling that you're getting tempted. Hey, maybe leave. Maybe go on a drive. Uh, go on a walk. You know, watch something that's motivational. Watch a transformation video. Do something so you will not leave, lose focus. It is very important that you build some momentum up. Very important. Very important that you build momentum up. And once you build that momentum, it is a little easier, at least for me, what I found, that it is a little easier to deny myself 
things that are not going to help me on this journey. Things that are not going to help me lose weight. Things that are not beneficial for me. Well, hey, Quintel, I mean, hey, is carnivore healthy? I mean, hey, well, we can go over there on a separate video, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know all the ins and outs and the, 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 the details. I don't know. And I will be honest with you. I don't care that much. I am going off of how my body feels and reacts to what I'm doing right now. What my body is telling me is that it agrees with what I'm doing. Not just saying because of the weight loss, but I'm actually going off of how is my body responding? How is my body responding? And so <clears throat> that's something that I advise you to go off of as well once you, you know, jump into this journey. And I pray that you all, once you're in this journey, that you stay committed as much as possible. I'm not only doing these videos to help assist, you know, people. That is nice, but I'm doing it to maintain accountability <clears throat> and to see how far I can get on this journey. I don't know. Hopefully far. You know, this is a lifestyle change, and that's something else that'll help you stay focused. Hey, it has to be a lifestyle change. A mentality has to, you know, uh, to switch what I like to eat, cookies, you know, cook, cookies, brownies, ice cream, um, all that, dessert and uh, yams and cornbread. Oh, yes. Lord knows. Lord knows I would like to eat that. But that feeling of lack or not having does not outweigh how I would feel in the future if I give up that feeling of lack of not having that food, not having the cookies and cakes and all that stuff does not outweigh a feeling of failure. That feeling is foremost in my mind at the front of my cerebral cortex. <laughs> uh, for real, man, I, I, I know firsthand what it feels like to fail and I know you do too. So do not give up on your journey, please. And y'all pray that I don't give up on my journey. You know, it's a two-way street. I ain't got it all figured out. For real. Because if I did, then I probably wouldn't be talking to you all. I probably wouldn't be making these videos. Man, it's, it's, uh, it's real out here. It's real. But I think staying focused on this journey will be worth it. Hey, I mean, look at the videos, you know, that people have posted. There are other people on this journey, not just you. So just remember that you're not alone, man. You're not. And if you need to holler at me, boom, put, put something in the comments, man. True, I'm going to spit something motivational to you or something. Because obesity is real, man. This cat's out here, 600-pound lifestyle, man. And I understand. And some people were talking about, man, I can't believe they got up to there. They so big and blah, blah, blah. Look, man, if you, you, if you have never been overweight and gotten talked about then i would advise that person to uh just change the subject talk about something else because you speak on something you do not know of it is real you know the mental battle is real and it almost makes me want to tear up because the feeling of low self-esteem and the feeling of not feeling as it adequate or not being being able to do what you feel as if you are capable of doing, protecting your family, walking up a flight of stairs, man, it is real. So stay motivated, maintain focus. Hey, because I believe what's on the other side is greater than the predicament that you are are in now as always stay blessed keep me in your prayers and y'all have a wonderful day